Which herbs do doctors secretly use to support blood circulation in their legs and feet? To answer this question, I had to do some digging and consult with them directly. And after some time, they finally revealed their secrets to me. After careful research and gathering all the information, I'm here to share with you a list of herbs that have a miraculous effect on blood circulation in the legs and feet. So, stick with me, my friend, because I'm about to share something truly important that took me a long time. Ginkgo biloba. Ginkgo biloba is renowned for its ability to enhance blood circulation, especially in the legs and feet. This ancient herb has been a part of traditional remedies for centuries, known to old doctors as a secret weapon to improve blood flow and reduce discomfort. Ginkgo works by dilating blood vessels, allowing more oxygen to reach the extremities, which helps in reducing numbness, swelling, and heaviness in the legs. It also comes with the added bonus of supporting brain function and memory, a benefit that old healers value greatly. How to use. You can take ginkgo biloba in supplement form, which is widely available in capsules or tablets. The typical recommended dose ranges from 120 to 240 milligrams daily, divided into two doses, one in the morning and another in the evening. Alternatively, Make ginkgo tea by steeping one teaspoon of dried ginkgo leaves in hot water for about five to seven minutes. For a more enjoyable taste, add a bit of honey. Drinking one cup daily has been part of a well-kept herbalist's routine to steadily improve blood circulation over time. Cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is a well-known remedy for improving blood flow and has been one of the hidden gems in old doctor's practices. The active component, capsaicin, helps to expand blood vessels, increasing circulation to the legs and feet. This warming sensation provides both comfort and relief, helping reduce pain and swelling. Rich in vitamins and minerals, cayenne supports overall vascular health which is why it's been a go-to secret for those who seek to naturally enhance their circulation. How to use. For internal use, mix a small pinch of cayenne pepper, about 1 8 teaspoon, into a glass of warm water. Stir well and drink once a day. If the taste is too strong, add a squeeze of lemon or a teaspoon of honey to make it more palatable. Cayenne capsules are also an option. Start with a daily dose of 500 milligrams to gauge your body's response before gradually increasing the amount. For external use. To create a soothing oil for leg massage, combine one teaspoon of cayenne pepper with half a cup of olive oil. Warm the mixture slightly, then gently massage it onto your legs and feet. This method is one of the time-tested secrets that helps boost circulation, providing warmth and immediate relief. Red vine leaf. Now here's a little secret that old doctors have kept in their herbal medicine cabinet for centuries. Red vine leaf. This herb is known for its potent ability to improve blood circulation, especially in the legs. Rich in flavonoids and antioxidants, red vine leaf strengthens the walls of blood vessels, reducing swelling and discomfort. It's particularly helpful for those dealing with heavy legs, varicose veins, and poor circulation. How to use. One of the easiest ways to enjoy the benefits of red vine leaf is through tea. Add one teaspoon of dried red vine leaves to a cup of boiling water, cover it, and let it steep for 10 minutes. Strain and enjoy this tea once or twice a day. If you prefer capsules, you can find red vine leaf extract in most health stores with a common dose being around 360 to 720 milligrams daily. For external use, some creams contain red vine leaf extract, which can be gently massaged into the legs to promote local circulation and reduce swelling. A doctor's whisper. In traditional medicine, red vine leaf has been regarded as a hidden gem for circulation support. 
It's part of the quiet wisdom shared among those who know how to naturally maintain healthy legs. Nettle, often found in nature as a wild plant, is a fantastic herb for improving blood circulation. It's rich in iron and vitamin C, which play a crucial role in boosting red blood cell production and improving overall blood flow. Additionally, nettle contains anti-inflammatory properties that help reduce swelling and discomfort in the legs and feet, promoting ease of movement. How to use. Nettle tea is a simple and soothing way to reap its benefits. Add one teaspoon of dried nettle leaves to a cup of boiling water, cover, and let it steep for about 10 minutes. Strain and enjoy one cup daily. If you prefer supplements, nettle capsules are widely available with a recommended dosage of 300 to 500 milligrams taken once or twice a day. You can also find nettle extract in liquid form. Just add a few drops to your water or juice. Nettle can even be used as a cooked green, similar to spinach, adding a nutritious boost to soups and stews. Fun fact, nettle is known to support kidney function by helping the body flush out excess fluids, which can further reduce swelling in the legs and ankles. Go to cola, an herb used for centuries in traditional medicine, is known for its ability to boost blood circulation. It strengthens veins and capillaries, making it particularly helpful for those dealing with varicose veins or chronic venous insufficiency. By supporting blood vessel integrity, Gotu Cola can ease the heaviness and fatigue often felt in the legs. Gotu Cola is typically taken as a supplement, with doses ranging from 60 to 120 milligrams of extract, one to two times a day. For tea lovers, you can prepare Gotu Cola tea by adding one teaspoon of dried leaves to a cup of hot water. Allow it to steep for about five to seven minutes, then strain and enjoy. Drinking this tea once daily can provide a gentle boost to your circulatory health. Gotu Cola is also available as a topical cream that you can massage onto the legs to promote local circulation. A bit of science. Studies indicate that Gotu Cola may help reduce swelling and improve blood flow in the legs. Its compounds, such as asiaticoside, promote collagen production strengthening the walls of blood vessels and improving their elasticity. Feel free to explore these herbs in a way that suits your lifestyle. They offer a natural means to support better blood flow and keep your legs feeling light and energized. Cinnamon is more than just a spice. It's a cherished secret of old doctors for improving circulation, especially in the legs and feet. Its compounds, cinnamaldehyde and coumarin, help dilate blood vessels and ease discomfort, leaving your legs feeling lighter. How to use. A simple way to enjoy cinnamon's benefits is through tea. Add half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon to hot water, stir and let it steep for 10 minutes. Sweeten with honey if you like and drink it once daily. You can also sprinkle cinnamon on your breakfast or take it in capsule form with 500 milligrams being a common dose. Quick tip. Cinnamon's natural warming effect isn't just soothing, it's a sign of increased blood flow. It's a small yet powerful addition to your daily routine that's been trusted for generations. Parsley. My friend, parsley is more than just a garnish for your meals. It's a powerhouse of nutrients that can significantly improve circulation. Rich in vitamin C and K, as well as iron, Parsley helps fortify blood vessels and enhances blood flow throughout the body. Its natural diuretic properties help reduce water retention, which can alleviate swelling and heaviness in the legs. How to use. To make parsley tea, chop a handful of fresh parsley leaves and add them to a cup of boiling water. Let it steep for five to seven minutes, then strain and drink. This tea can be consumed once a day. You can also incorporate fresh parsley into your daily meals by adding it to salads, soups, or smoothies. For those who prefer supplements, 
Parsley extract is available in capsule form, with a common dosage being 500 mg taken once daily. Interesting insight. Some research suggests that parsley may help lower blood pressure by acting as a natural vasodilator, further enhancing circulation. Adding it to your routine can support a heart-healthy lifestyle. Ginger. Ginger is celebrated not just for its flavor, but also for its remarkable ability to boost blood circulation. In the world of old doctors and herbalists, ginger was often recommended to help prevent the buildup of cholesterol in the arteries, ensuring smooth blood flow to the legs and feet. Its natural warming effect provides comfort and eases the discomfort associated with poor circulation, a true remedy that has stood the test of time. One of the most traditional ways to enjoy ginger's circulatory benefits is by making ginger tea. Take a piece of fresh ginger root, about an inch in size, peel it, and slice it into thin pieces. Add these slices to a cup of hot water and let it steep for five to 10 minutes. To enhance the flavor, you can add a spoonful of honey. Drinking this tea once or twice daily has long been a part of herbal routines to support and promote blood flow naturally. If capsules are preferred, ginger supplements are widely available with a recommended daily dosage ranging from 250 to 500 milligrams. Alternatively, you can incorporate grated ginger into meals or smoothies, which not only adds a spicy kick, but also delivers its circulation boosting benefits directly. Butcher's Broom is well known for its ability to alleviate poor circulation in the legs. It contains compounds called ruscogenins, which help tighten and tone blood vessels, reducing the pooling of blood and fluid retention. This makes it particularly helpful for individuals dealing with leg swelling, heaviness, and discomfort caused by varicose veins or sitting for extended periods. You can find butcher's broom in capsules with a standard dosage of 100 to 150 milligrams taken two to three times a day. To maximize its effectiveness, take it with a full glass of water and alongside meals. If using it in tea form, steep one teaspoon of dried butcher's broom root in hot water for about 10 minutes. Strain the liquid and drink it once or twice daily. This herbal tea is a gentle yet effective way to support circulation naturally. Horse Chestnut Horse chestnut is one of those hidden secrets old doctors have long used to improve blood circulation in the legs. It contains a powerful compound called aesin, which strengthens blood vessels and reduces symptoms of poor circulation, such as swelling, pain, and that heavy feeling in your legs. With regular use, it helps promote healthier veins, making it particularly helpful for those dealing with varicose veins. Horse chestnut is usually found in capsules or tablets. A typical dose is 100 to 150 milligrams of essen, taken twice daily, preferably with meals. For direct relief, you can use horse chestnut gel. Just massage a small amount onto the legs using circular motions. This simple ritual, done once or twice a day, can bring soothing comfort and reduce swelling. It's one of those traditional remedies quietly passed down. Now here for you to try. Hawthorn. Hawthorn is a time-tested herb celebrated for its ability to support cardiovascular health. It promotes blood circulation by helping to widen blood vessels, improve blood flow, and strengthen the heart. Hawthorn is rich in antioxidants, which can protect blood vessels from damage, and it can also assist in reducing leg swelling and discomfort due to poor circulation. Hawthorn is most commonly taken in the form of capsules, tinctures, or teas. For capsules, the recommended dosage is usually around 250 to 500 milligrams, taken two to three times a day. If you prefer a soothing tea, Add one teaspoon of dried hawthorn berries to a cup of hot water. Let it steep for 10 to 15 minutes, then strain. 
Enjoy one to two cups daily. For those who prefer tinctures, add 20 to 30 drops to a glass of water and drink it up to three times a day. Consistent use over a few weeks is key to experiencing the full benefits. Burdock Root Burdock Root is a traditional herb well known for its blood purifying properties. It promotes healthy circulation by detoxifying the blood and supporting vascular health. Rich in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds, burdock root helps improve blood flow and reduce the swelling and discomfort often experienced in the legs and feet. How to use Burdock root is most commonly consumed as a tea. To prepare, take one teaspoon of dried burdock root, add it to a cup of boiling water and let it steep for 10 to 15 minutes. Strain the liquid and enjoy once a day. If you prefer, burdock root is also available in capsule form, with a standard dosage ranging from 500 to 1,000 milligrams taken once or twice daily. You can even use burdock tincture. Simply add 20 to 30 drops to a glass of water and drink it up to three times a day. Did you know? Burdock root has been traditionally used to support liver function which in turn plays a role in maintaining healthy blood composition and circulation. It's an excellent herb for overall detoxification and vascular health. These herbs can be easily incorporated into your daily routine to support circulation naturally. Remember, every step you take towards better health counts. Turmeric. Turmeric often recognized for its vibrant yellow hue, is a powerful herb for improving circulation. It contains curcumin, which acts as a natural, anti-inflammatory and blood thinner, enhancing blood flow to the legs and feet. Many find relief from the heaviness and discomfort associated with poor circulation through regular use of turmeric. For an easy and delicious way to use turmeric, make a warm, Golden Milk Drink Mix a teaspoon of turmeric powder into a cup of warm milk or plant-based milk. Add a pinch of black pepper, which helps with absorption, and a teaspoon of honey for sweetness. Enjoy this drink once a day, preferably in the evening, to help wind down. Turmeric supplements are also available in capsule form, with a typical dose being 500 to 1,000 milligrams daily. A small anecdote. My neighbor, who's in her early 70s, started adding turmeric to her morning oatmeal. She didn't like taking pills, so this was her way to benefit from the herb. After a month, she said her morning walks became more enjoyable, with less swelling in her ankles. Sometimes a simple change can make all the difference. While these herbs offer time-tested benefits for improving circulation, they may not be suitable for everyone, particularly those who are pregnant, have blood clotting disorders, or suffer from chronic heart conditions. If you have concerns, start with a small amount and observe how your body reacts. And remember, consulting a healthcare professional is always a good idea, as they can better understand your individual health needs. Feel free to share this valuable information with your friends and family on WhatsApp. You never know who might benefit from it today.